Well, today we're celebrating the one year anniversary of Heartland News at 9 on UP and the Beat. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Kate Scott, of course, anchors the News at 9, joins us now live. And Kate, a big congratulations from us to you. Thanks a lot, Marianne and Jeff. And I just want to say a special thank you to our 9 o'clock viewers for watching. Since our launch last March, we have quadrupled our viewers. And over the past year, we've really enjoyed bringing you the news of the day one hour earlier, plus a few things you won't see here on KFES 12. We try to give you a look at the lighter side of life with our Only at Nine stories and the Kate's Beat segment. And where else can you see wrestlers putting the smack down on Ryan Tate? Now, one hour earlier, news with Kate Scott, storm team weather with Bob Reeves, and sports with Steve Sotak. This is Heartland News at Nine. Good evening. It's a story you're first hearing right here on Heartland News at Nine in Cape Girardeau. But ready. The offer was too good to refuse. Stay at Southern Illinois. Well, several young students are taking on the Challenge to Excellence camp. Tonight's Kate's Beat story comes from Heather Brown of Wycliffe, Kentucky. Stand here at the show me Center. Wow! My first ride in a monster truck. It's a little scary. You kids did a way better job than I did. But hey, it sure was fun trying. He says he's way excited, but this will also be his first ride on a plane, so he's also a little nervous. So good luck, Josh. All the sailing works up an appetite. <laughs> okay, famous pork chop going down. Mmm, and fresh apple butter. And I cannot wait, it smells delicious. We need a lot of these in a four hour football game. Time now to take a look at the latest entertainment buzz. Looks like you're already having a good time. I am, Mike, and I'm holding my shoe. And I'm here with John Weiss. I bet you guys want to know why I'm holding my shoe. Well, this is a circus performer extraordinaire, and he's going to show us a little trick. Say hi to Mike. Hi, Mike. I wish you were here. Oh, Mike. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> I didn't do that. Another good thing to have is water shoes. Helps you get around on those slippery rocks. Even this news reporter had to get a piece of the fun. Planning your moves like a mental game of chess. Then when you make it to the top, you feel like you won the game. Harry Potter may not be returning to the screen until next summer, but that doesn't mean we can't take a sneak peek right now. Maybe not exactly j lo -esque, but I can do the steps. I was proud. I can deal with that looking at my well, two of the three films opening nationwide this weekend are about sports. Well, one guy who knows his way around a baseball field is Ryan Tate. Tonight, he's out in Cape Girardeau. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> we got some good times. It's the hard news and so much more. So we want to say happy first birthday to the Heartland's only 9 o'clock newscast. And we are looking forward to bringing you more great local stories in the years to come. Thanks for watching.